<laughs> when I was single, I had this old aunt that used to come up to me at family weddings, and she'd poke me in the rib, and she'd be like, you're next. You're next. <laughs> she stopped doing that after I did that tour at a funeral. <laughs> We're at the funeral and I'm looking down and oh look at poor poor Uncle Tommy. He looks good though. Auntie? <laughs> You're next. <laughs> I was in Vegas last month playing in a uh, poker tournament, which is actually a problem because I don't even know how to play poker. So I'm sitting at the table, I get my cards dealt to me, I take a peek. I'm looking around the casino and I see a sign up on the wall that says you got a gambling problem? Call a gambling problem hotline. So I had a problem. So I called him. The lady says, what's your gambling problem? I said, I said, I got, I got three aces, a queen, and a ten. I don't know what to do with I took my wife out for an anniversary dinner. The waiter came up to the table and he said, the special tonight is seared tuna. I never had seared tuna, so I said, well, how is it prepared? She said, the, the tuna is very, very rare. And I looked at him and I said, you don't have to tell me how rare tuna is. I've been married for 20 years, for Christ's sake. All right, so now, I was reading the paper the other day that those yellow rubber bracelets represent do not, do not resuscitate in the hospital. So I did what any other guy would have done. I immediately went out and bought my mother-in-law one of those Livestrong bracelets for her birthday. And she loved it. And I told her, you know, Ma, you know what's the cool thing about it? There's no silver in it. There's no gold in it. You can wear it just about anywhere you want. Why? You can even wear it to a hospital if you want. <laughs> she didn't get it. <laughs> she wears it though, that's the main point. That's cool. Well, let's see. That's almost bad. Oh yeah. I was reading classified ads. There's a couple ads that stood out to me. Every once in a while I read those things for fun. I don't know if you guys do that. There was, a, there was a couple that stood out to me. One of them said, for sale, Nordic track, $300, never used, called Chubby. Oh, that was a pretty cool ad. <laughs> that was another one. For sale, complete set of Encyclopedia Britannica, $1,000 or best offer. Got married last week, wife knows everything. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Al's Septic Tank Cleaning. We haul American made products. <laughs> you got any bear stands out there? Yeah. yeah. Training camp starting in a couple weeks. I got to tell you, last year, they were so dreadful to watch that I ended up just dedicating my Sunday afternoons with my wife going shopping. So I didn't even see a game last year. Yeah, so now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I did sneak into an electronics store once in a while, but I basically gave up my Sundays to spend my time with my wife. And now that they got Jay Cutler, it's a, kind of a different story. So now I gotta figure out how am I gonna get out of this, right? Because I gotta watch Jay Cutler, right? They're gonna do something this year for a change. So I started thinking how I could get out of this. So here's what I started to do. There was a time we were at uh, Cole, or at Cole's, and I grabbed all the caution, slippery one, wet signs. We just started placing them out in the middle of the carpeted areas. Then there was a time we were at Nordstrom's and I hid in the clothing rack. And as the lady started going through the clothes, I just yell out, pick me, pick, pick me, no, pick me. <laughs> then there was a time I was at, uh, we were at, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of that uh, fishing place, the, the Bass Pro Shop. I went into the hunting department, I grabbed a gun and the biggest knife I could find, and I started running around the store yelling at people, asking them where the antidepressants were. <laughs> and then the straw that finally broke the camera's back, we were shopping at Macy's, and I 
I cr created a trail on the floor between the bra and panty department and the dressing room with tomato juice. <laughs> she doesn't ask me to go shopping anymore. So I went and Hey, Hi. late bloomer. How you doing? Good. That's Jamie, everybody. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Is it me, or does this country outsource a lot of stuff? I mean, if you think about it, we were outsourcing back before it was even sexy. We just happened to call it child care, right? <laughs> Why does it be like, oh, I can't raise these kids and parents them anymore. Can't we just pay somebody to do it? That's what outsourcing is, right? Paying someone to leave job a little bit cheaper. Well, I'm in IT, and companies are always looking to outsource IT jobs to India, to companies like Infosys. So I'm going to make a prediction tonight. You heard it here. I predict that by the end of this year, we're going to be outsourcing our spouses. So I'm going to start my own company, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go hire a bunch of horny women from India, and I'm going to call it Infosys. <laughs> I think I already got a logo. And what's with, what's with Hollywood? They all got to run around and buying these babies and ordering babies from other countries? I mean, that's a form of outsourcing too, right? I mean, I could just see Brad and Angelina at night. I could see Brad looking at her and saying, no, oh, baby, you look sexy. Let's make a baby tonight. No, Brad, you know, I had a headache. Why don't you just call them Infosys? Do you feel like that? Go on around and order a baby from China. I was driving down Rodeo Drive a couple weeks ago, and I was right behind Brad and Angelina. At least I think it was them. They had one of those yellow baby on order signs in the back of their truck. <laughs> hey, before I go, I just want to leave you with a couple of public service announcements. Never, under any circumstance, take a sleeping pill and a laxative in the same night. <laughs> I'll never forget that night. I came home so drunk. My wife was so pissed off at me. She handed me what I thought was an aspirin and a piece of chocolate. The last thing I know is I'm out cold. Sorry. I woke up at 3 o'clock in the afternoon the next day. My ass was so warm and cozy. I thought I had an electric blanket on. <laughs> Now I know why babies wake up so happy. <laughs> and the last one, I'm going to break the call. Thank you guys for great. I appreciate it. And I'd like to thank you for having me here the opportunity to have a song that's kind of last week for the first time. And there's another one for the first time. Don't succeed. Don't stand up. Thank you guys for great. I appreciate it. Sunday, Casey Clifford coming in from Oklahoma.